Hey everybody, Fixer here. I have something new and different for you. As always, I like to do this. The game is called Tengami, which was released by Nyanyam. It is described as an atmospheric adventure game that is taking place in a Japanese pop-up book. It is available on Steam or Humble Bundle for $10. It was actually originally released on the Wii U and iPad and later on Android. And I think it came on Steam last year? 2014, somewhere around there. Anyways, you're going to love the art style of this game. And um, if you do love it, there I'll put a link in the description below that they put out some like art prints that to go along with this game that are just fantastic. So, if you were to um, search this game on, on YouTube, you'll find that it's loaded with a ton of Let's Plays without commentary. Um, almost the entire first page is full of Let's Plays that have no commentary on this. So... I'm putting commentary on it. Let's open up our book. Drag to open. Dreams. I love this style. It is gorgeous. Alright. Drag to turn page. So, fading. I'm making sure these aren't like chapters I can jump in. Gone? There's a flower up here. It is a short game. We're... we're Probably looking at maybe three episodes. Mm, four, I don't know, somewhere around there. But I wanted to get something um, pretty out there. I love atmospheric games, so here we are. We're entering inside the book. Nice long loading screen. You don't see that every day. Maybe in Skyrim. Not in small little indie games. Alright, here we are. Click the walk. So. Alright, so I can walk. Or so there this is. Not like a 2D type thing where you can just walk back and forth. There is a little bit of depth in here. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this style. So clever. What do we got up here anyways? Oh. I don't want to do that. So this is actually a... Um, an adventure game. It's a. It's. It is a puzzle platformer in a way. There we go. Oh, they're chimes. Lovely. Can't do it anymore though. Oh, can I? Can I do something with the dog? He, uh, he rustles every time I, I touch him. And the colors, man, they're just gorgeous. Look at that water. Isn't that fantastic? These look like stairs, don't they? But they're not. There's a bridge. How amazing is that? I don't think this is supposed to be a difficult game. I don't think the puzzles are supposed to be difficult, which, which in my opinion, lends pretty well to Let's Plays. Puzzle games are, are difficult to Let's Plays. In fact, I, I started one, um, Porter Stories Mel, and although I liked the game, holy cow, the puzzles were just difficult, and you look like a moron on screen, and you don't want to take too long on the puzzles because it's not good for, for content. 
It's just the pain. God, that's just gorgeous. I can't get over this game. Well, that's unfortunate. Why did that close up? Can't I not go up there? Alright, so I can't go up there, but I can probably come down, I'm guessing? So I need to find my way up there. Otherwise? Did I... I think I'm doing something wrong here. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Maybe if I click up there? No. See, I think this prevents me from getting over there. There's got to be a way. See, these look like stairs, don't they? But I don't think they are. Can I use arrow keys instead? Space? No. Okay. Guess, guess I don't get to see what that light is then. See, I click on it up there. Nothing happens. It's almost like he doesn't have a way over. Is that timed? Is that what that is? Do I need to get ready and... So, so much for this being an easy puzzle, right? Maybe I can come back. We'll see. There's another. There we go. Alright, so that didn't do anything. So do these have to be done in a specific order? What order do they have to be done in? Not that order. So he he howled and then he howled. I don't think that tells me anything though. So only he howled. Does that mean that one is in the wrong spot? Nobody howled. He did. And he did. So does that mean they're right? So if this is first and this is last, so how about this? Aha! I can't go this way, so maybe that will allow me up the stairs. It's kind of a weird puzzle. God, it's just gorgeous. I... Oh, God bless America. I clicked off my screen. Sorry about that. Now can I go up here? Yes, I can. Go to gumdrops. Take loads of screenshots of this one. And like I said, if you guys like the style of this, they made some pretty nice prints and some other merchandise that you can get. And I, like I said, the link will be in the description below. Is there anything over here? I should probably check first, shouldn't I? Or is this the... Okay, there's nothing over there. Are we going inside a building here? I think that's what that means. <laughs> I love it. Alright. We are going inside a building. What's over here? Alright. Let's check the store the doors first. I think we might have to go down there first. 
These doors are probably locked, I'm assuming. It said... It said something. A piece of the crest seems to be missing. Okay. So, see that's broken there? So we gotta get that uh, piece of that crest. Lovely. Is that making like a clicking sound every time I do that? Sounded like it. Maybe not. Oh well. Let's see what we have here. What can I do? I can walk. So when I go on the light, it focuses in, but there's nothing. There's this. Aha. Down in the well. I love that. It's so clever. Oh, look at that. That's just fantastic. Alright, so the water is drained. What's this? <laughs> I thought it was an ear. Okay, let's go back. That was our, our missing piece. So we got that now. Anything exciting over here? No. I love that. That's the, the backdrop of the of the room that we're in. We're still inside this this pop up book. I don't need to go back there. Such a clever game. Clever uh style. I like it. See there did you hear that click? It's like some kind of audio glitch it happens when I drop the marker sometimes. Not every time, just sometimes. Yep, I know. Let's let's get that piece up. Did I did I not, I didn't grab it, did I? Son of a bad word. I didn't know I had to actually go down and grab it. I figured it was like like okay, you got it. It's yours. Oops. That's your fault. I'll blame you guys. Hmm. So do I have to get down in the well? Let's turn the page. See? How do I grab that then? Bring the water up, of course. You found a crest piece! Yes, thank you. Onwards! I think this game may have benefited from a, a a short voiceover at the beginning. I know that 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 part of the charm is that there there isn't any voices, but maybe just a, a short few sentences at the beginning to talk about the story would have been nice. There we go. It's really weird the way this... that you move on. You have to think like it's an actual picture book. Pop-up book, sorry. It's really neat. I love it. And it goes against your your common thoughts, your... the way you think about games. Okay. And this will take me inside. Yeah, isn't that great? I love that. So there's another flower. Ooh. So does that mean I can go here and take me back? So this is new down here. What is this? That wasn't there before, was it? All right, bro, you gotta go a little faster up and down the stairs. All right, so I don't think that's what I want. I don't think. So 
So I need to find a way to get downstairs on the inside of this building. See, it won't let me do that here. What can I can't interact with the flower? So going on the light will trigger a pop-up page to be turned. What's this question mark here for? Show hints. Let the lanterns light the way. Well, yes, I, I do want to go down there, but the question is, how do I get down there? This gate. Bro can't jump this gate for some reason. And there's a floaty flower over it. And there's these lanterns here. I don't like your hints. How about these lanterns over here? Maybe it's talking about these lanterns. I bet you it is. Okay, so there's a stairway down here. How do I get over there? Oh! More lanterns. There we go. So what's the point of that lantern? I don't get it. That's all right. All right, so this will allow us to turn the page, I guess. We got to close them all up before the page turns. Yeah, there we go. That's awesome. Ooh. Okay. We're in a sewer system, the obligatory sewer level every game must have. I believe there are three chapters to this story, so I'm going to try to make it one chapter per episode. I remember reading that there were three chapters. So that would be perfect, actually. There we are. So does that let me go up here and grab the flower? It does! Wolves sleeping beneath pale moonlight, dreams unfold. Achievement unlocked, Howling Wolves. Is that the end of that chapter? So we have this flower. Can I click on it, please? Can I put it back? There we go. Wonderful. Oh, look at the tree. And it looks like that concludes the uh, first chapter of Tengami. Again, $10 on Steam or Humble. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next chapter.